Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, just a revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again in yet another presentation inside the Word of God and praying that the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ continues to give you the hope in times of hopelessness, the courage, the strength, the resilience, the perseverance until the end of time. Today, what I want to present here is not a sermon. It is what the Holy Spirit showed me in a vision. And I was shown quite a number of things by the Holy Spirit in the realms of the Spirit. I've been assigned into a dry fasting until the end of the year by the Holy Spirit and he has purged me he has separated me as one of the last ministers in the last final war against the beast in the last final war of the saints and the sons of God against the kingdom of darkness and I was shown into some very deep informative visions that the Holy Spirit then defined unto me as the last global agenda. He stretched me beyond the last global agenda to the climax of events that are going to be taken afterwards. But I had been meditating in the wait. I had been praying, asking the Lord about the depth of my will in the last hour about the purpose of this calling beyond the significance and the understanding of what i already know immediately i was teleported in the realms of the spirit but there was a strange thing about this teleportation. I had a gadget on my hand, which I was able to press a button. And when I pressed this button, there was a, an elevator where I was standing on top of this steel which was able to go down every time when I would press and it reached a point where it was now moving faster going downwards I went deep underneath to a secret place as I went deeper I could see the mountains I could see that I was given the access to go beyond even passing through mountains, meaning that I was in an immortal state, given the ability to go through that dimension for me to see the things that the Holy Spirit wanted me to see. Upon arriving to the desired destination where the machine where I was standing upon it stopped 
I started seeing many souls that were like prisoners, yet wandering around like zombies. These souls, they were like the walking dead. Like they were clueless, they were confused. They were wandering all about in the same place, in a place that was unpleasant and uncomfortable. They were all loitering down underneath, like they didn't know that the time that they had been trapped underneath had moved. It's like they had been there for centuries. I could tell when I was looking at some of them that these ones have been locked down there for centuries. Periods of time, dispensations, generations had passed while they were down there. There were many souls down there. Souls that were delivered underneath. As many who were assumed to be people that had died long ages. I saw all of them down there. There were many souls delivered underneath as many portals of graves and tombs released more prisoners that the earth assumed these were dead bodies but these were souls that were still living yet in the realm of the dead i could see funerals on the surface of the earth almost every part of the earth at a funeral there was a body that was being lowered and they assumed that they were lowering these bodies six feet under but i saw souls descending underneath and being captured by creatures and the devils that rule the underworld i saw souls of young children pegged and squeezed in airtight cages of untold and unexplainable misery. The worst part of that vision, seeing little children of different ages and sizes. I wondered how did these little children reach such a horrible place? Why is I was thinking how could these children be trapped in such a place and what offense could these children have committed a voice whispered in my ear and said the defiled transgenerational blood i could not hear further i saw old people old people looking very solemn some had sunken faces they looked skinny bone on their faces like they were hungry some of them and almost like skeletons yet breathing in a realm which was called death then I was taken into another dimension where I saw a secret society of men that were wearing black garments. They were in a dining hall. But as I went closer, being ushered by an invisible that was ushering me all the way, I realized that these were two own demons. They were seated right round in a huge dining hall, making a conversation. And I was very interested in hearing what they were discussing about. 
in a secret located place which is many dimensions underneath my interest was to hear what are they really talking about then as i went even more closer i noticed that these were the seven delegate delegated princes under one chief devil who seemed to be in charge and they were discussed about rapture nearing its hour it's like they were discussing about rapture which was now approaching and they discussed also about the last hour and they were given a target by the more influential devil amongst them as if being given an assignment of the last global agenda of reaping more souls on earth then i saw him that was called death and hell and one that was called Hades. they appeared amongst these seven and the bigger devil then declared that now we represent 10 continents now we shall challenge the 10 heavens so the seven devils were still there and then death hell and Hades appeared and they seemed to receive more honor as these were being assigned as the last mercenaries then i saw him that was called infirmity being assigned to torment three quarters of the earth which is 75 percent of the globe with viruses and chronic killer diseases then i saw again he that was called greed who was assigned to cause as many as he could cause to become poor through his unfair allocation of wealth globally unfair taxations i saw the oppression of the poor i saw many that were sick i saw the world the earth itself being an unpleasant place to live it had become a place of torments then i saw him that was called last he looked very handsome and looked very beautiful at the same time but he looked very evil at the same time he was sent to cause many as many women and many men to become highly immoral i saw young girls young women and even some married women becoming jezebels and delilahs i saw the realm of social media internet online activities possessed by all manner of filthiness young little children young minors were corrupted by the last global agenda they were corrupted and they were early pregnancies young children at the age of 12 i saw them swallowing abortion tablets terminating pregnancies i saw young children dropping out of schools then i saw a woman a very strange woman who was ushered by a dragon from the sea ascending out of the sea 
yet seated on a golden throne but that golden throne was shaped in the shape of waters she ruled the earth for a season and handed over the power to the same devil that ruled the seven princes in the underworld i saw the dragon giving power to the beast whose time to rule the earth had been long overdue as if the sins of mankind had been prayers of the underworld as if the sins of mankind had been the prayers that had been interceding for the underworld to finally have power to rule the earth globally then i saw the womb the womb of hell opening and the belly of the underworld bathing to unto this earth a devil one of the most fierce devils that i have ever i have never seen that devil who was given an iron rod and conquered all continents globally but before these events I saw many disasters, many famines, many tragedies, many world wars, many conflicts, which included many death tolls as nations were fighting for supremacy and dominance. As the new ruler was born to overcome the earth, he indeed was like a man, but I could see through his red eyes that he was the host of the devil. In a new world dimension with no demarcation, no division, no Africa to locate, no Europe to locate, no Asia to locate, but one world order, a world under one devil i saw one major satellite in the air that major satellite it controlled all other satellites tracking invisible souls and remote controlling the earth and i saw one detector like a device under the sea it was called the beast of this world which was surveying the livelihoods in different walks of life souls were connected to that dictator and their lives were disconnected from the almighty maker in a dispensation which the angel defined as the last age where men lived on earth like mere robots and puppets i saw machines ruling men instead of men controlling the machines that he had created i saw everything being artificially fake and the world becoming even more fake nothing was authentic the word originally had phased out with the time then in a glimpse a scroll was opened and i was taken into another realm where i started witnessing events that are beyond the events that i was being shown in that vision and i saw humans now being remote controlled like machines i saw humans operating like puppets i saw humans married to machines i saw human beings now living under the system of programs I saw the schools and universities of that age 
as laboratories of the most advanced scientific modifications. I saw churches being shut down and I saw new churches being opened. I saw the lame with the two horns in charge of the churches. He spoke many blasphemies. Church became the most evil place that did not dispatch the word of God, but it dispatched all immorality. It's like souls, they were empowered and imparted in the churches of darkness that supported the last global agenda. I saw young kids being professors at a very early age, defiled by the most intelligent information of darkness. I saw the walls of many institutions and many organizations written with the blood of the mark of the beast. It was now common. It was now official. This was the last world agenda. This was the last global world agenda of Lucifer the devil. A voice spake unto my ear. And what was this agenda? I saw many souls sinking underneath in what appeared is a natural death yet the underworld swallowing more i saw many souls being corrupted being contaminated as high expectations of rapture kept many souls and the saints believers of that last age who were persecuted they awaited for a sign from above but there was no sign in a dispensation where men longed for death in a season where men longed to depart from the earth but death could not come then I saw a last war of men and machines. Yet it appeared like a malfunction of machines that had lost their programming. And the lost program fought against humans. And the lost program of machines rebelled against humans. Many humans were killed in that war. And the humans that survived were under the machine programs. So these humans that survived, they were half humans, half machines. And they were humans that had refused the mark of the beast. They died like insects. I saw piled bodies. I saw many being mess killed by these mercenary machines. Then I saw creatures coming down. At first, I could not see what kind of creatures these were, but a, a portal opened from above, and these creatures came down upon this earth. And I realized that these were alien creatures that were descending upon the earth. And immediately, a last chapter was flipped. While I was still gazing up into the sky, wondering what is this and what are these creatures. While the last final flip of the scroll was being opened, I saw demons from the underworld coming to this earth and I knew that the earth had been completely taken over. Humans had been dismally defeated here on earth. Humans had been invaded upon the earth that they had been given. 
but there were just a few that I could locate like stars in the middle of darkness and the voice said these represent your tribe of the sons of God they were not very many they appeared like little lights in the midst of many seas of darkness the last chapter opened and I saw a wall of angels and demons angels from the third heaven and demons from the underworld they started fighting that war went for days went for months and for years but the time was very short in the vision and i saw myself i could see myself but in an immortal glorified body part of that war fighting side to side with the warriors from the realms fighting side to side not only with the warriors from the realms the generals the angelic figures this was the final war before rapture the last battle of supremacy i saw souls of warriors who saved the kingdom for ages and soldiers who represent the armies of heaven resurrecting yet coming from another dimension souls of generals wrestling with the fallen detectors who were uprising against the kingdom that had been unleashed upon this earth I saw the war that started from the realms. There was a war in the spaces of the air, of two different kingdoms. It became tense until it reached the earth. It went for many seasons, but at the end, I saw light that was greater, and darkness could not comprehend that light. This was like the first defeat of darkness for after many centuries. For that war went for many years in the realms. Then immediately I saw stars falling from heaven. I saw the sun also falling. The earth crack opening and bodies being swallowed by the earth. I saw the sea opening portals and I saw hurricanes like waves that were spinning, swallowing bodies. The old earth had been rolled out of place. And for many seasons, after a last severe destruction that destroyed the earth with many massacres of disasters, but I saw a realm like a city of sons who were all white. The believers and saints whose prayers were like a bent incense going into the sky. These remained untouchable. These had flames of fire upon their heads with their garments and defiled with oil upon their head and they were ascended to a place of protection where they remained in prayer in supplication and in one accord then i saw a great light striking from above a great light that even crept into my eyes and I saw tombs of the dead opening and those tombs they released souls under the sea. Tombs under the earth, all the souls in the underworld, they were ascended in a certain specific realm which was like a waiting place. The greatest light was ushered by many hymns and sounds of praises. I saw flying horses, 
I saw creatures that I could tell that these were creatures from the first, the second, and the third heaven. I saw them in the realms. Then I saw a city in the air, which was now located for both those that had been released by the sea and the underworld. And I saw the living also standing before thrones. And for seven days, they all awaited the last judgment. A trial that was in the realms of the air between the heavens and the firmament. And there were two kingdoms that were separated in two dimensions in the last trial. A gulf of fire separated these two. A gulf of different two realms partitioned in the air separated these two, but there were thrones that ruled these two kingdoms. And I saw thrones that came down with those that were sitting upon them looking like the sun in glorified bodies. Immediately, all knees bowed down and at that moment, I also felt my knees becoming weak. I also bowed down as I saw great light, which I could not even look at. I just felt tongues that I've never spoken coming from within my spirit in that vision. All knees bowed down. And there was silence both in heaven and on earth in the underworld for a moment as all knees bowed down and books were opened. I could feel the sounds of flipping pages. Names were called out as I feared, as I trembled, as my legs were shaking. I was so afraid that my name would be called out. I continually had many names being called out. These names, they stood before the throne. As books were opened, names were called out. As names were called out, I saw portals of fire being opened. I saw portals of fire being quenched. Immediately, I saw souls languishing in endless pain in the depth of fire. The most miserable death that I have never seen. I saw souls of the dead, souls of the great, languishing in pain in the midst of the fire. The fires were in a certain realm which was located again in the air. And the fires would be quenched non-stop. Then the scrolls were opened again. I saw a page flipping. Then I appeared in a new dimension where I realized that the earth had rolled away like a scroll. I saw a new earth. This wasn't the old earth that had been worn out. This was now like a new city, a new dimension. In that city, everyone had a smile on their faces and you could hear the sounds and the melodies of joy. I could hear the sounds of the harp, melodies that fill you with happiness in your heart. And I saw saints, believers, worshipping him whose face I could not see, I could not look at. Why? Because he had too much glory. As I was rejoicing inside my heart, I was teleported out of that dimension and appeared back in the current world. Child of God, this was 
the most creative vision. This was the most fierce vision. This was also the most scary vision that I have never ever seen. But as I woke up, a voice said, Tell my people that the hour is at hand. Tell my people that I've sent you as the last messenger with the last message. Tell my people that those that shall deny my voice in you, they've denied me. As I was about to respond back to ask, as if I wanted to ask why are people not realizing what you have shown me, as if I wanted to say, why are people denying the gospel that I'm preaching? Then I felt a hand touching my shoulder and it said, preach the last wrath, preach the last message. And I saw words, repent or perish. Child of God, you have heard the vision. You have heard the last global agenda. You have heard the climax of the message. Jesus Christ is coming and you have to maintain the oil upon your head. You have to maintain the purification of your souls. You have to maintain your relationship with the Lord and Savior. I was given the spiritual age to pray after this vision. When I woke up, I was meditating for more than two hours in silence. Yet I could feel in the realms that I was praying continually. There is a wrath that is coming, child of God. You might deny it, but everyone that is hearing this voice you have been given a choice to depart your evil ways. You have been given the last chance to give your life to Jesus. Why? Because there is a wrath that is coming. And I, as the advocate of John the Revelator, Samuel the Revelator, I've been given a mandate to release the last message through the gospel of the last hour. Child of God, I pray that your head remains covered with the oil. You remain under the anointing and you are going to be preserved. Your life is going to be saved in the name of Jesus.